Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can create an interactive chart by using Google Slides. So you'll see here on my screen, I've already created a little chart just using the drawing tools that are available inside of Google Slides. And you can find all those up here. Now, what I want to do is I want to link each one of these parts of my diagram to each one of these slides that I've put a video in. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to highlight, in this case, the executive branch, select link, and I'm now going to select slides in this presentation. And we'll say I'm going to go to slide two, which is called executive branch. And we'll apply that. And now I'll do the same for judicial. We'll link that, select slides in the presentation, and I'm going to go to the judicial branch slide that I've created. And I'll repeat that process for my legislative branch. And again, just go down here and pick legislative branch and apply. So now when my students are viewing these slides, if they click on any one of these three, they'll be directed to the corresponding slide. But I want to make sure that my students can get back to the beginning. So on my executive branch slide, what I'm going to do is I've put in a little home link down in the bottom right corner. And I'll just highlight that. We'll insert the link. We'll select slides in this presentation, and I'm going to make sure that I select back to the option for the previous slide in this case. And I'm going to repeat that process again here for my slide three. Let's link that up. Select slides in this presentation, and we're going to go back to first slide. And we'll repeat that one more time over here. Put in my link, slides in the presentation, and I want to select first slide. And we'll apply that. So now when my students are viewing this, I'll just hit present. And when my student wants to go to judicial branch, they click on that link, and they can now play the video, the home button, in the bottom right corner, we'll take them back to the beginning. Do the same thing again. So that's how you can create an interactive diagram by using Google Slides. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.